Good morning, sitters. It's me, Cynthia Dahl, from the Boulay Brothers Dragula Season 5. Ah! Today, I am getting my nails done. It is most mandatory. I am going to be going to Canada. We have three stops in Canada. I'm ready to get back to my normal self. Um, I'm also very much ready to get my claws back. Because, baby, it's been a dry winter, and it's not cute. Let's go do some therapy. Yeah, we did it. Clock the nails! Thank God. It's been so long. I needed to take a break to get my nails done because honestly, my nail bits were like nothing. We're non existing. I could feel my finger just snap if there was like any weight on it and it was gonna take my nail off with it. Like, trust and believe I had to take some time. But now I'm about to go and travel. We're gonna go to Canada, we're gonna go to LA and then we're gonna go to Chicago. Baby, we got plans. So, come along with me. I'm being so extra with my nails now. It's so nice. I'm getting back to me. It's been so long since I've kinda enjoyed that time. So. Let's go. Tell Jesus that the bitch is back. I was in a two on two. On Good morning, sinners. It's me, Cynthia Dahl, from the Boulay Brothers Dragula, season five. And today we are... <gasps> My nails. Fuck, I fucked that up. Okay. Take two. Good morning, sinners. It's me, Cynthia Dahl, from the Boulay Brothers Dragula. Fuck, I just did it again. Take three. We're doing something a little... Do I have something on my nose? Bitch. Good morning, sinners. It's me, Cynthia Dahl, from the Boulay Brothers Dragula, season five. And today, I am excited to announce that I am getting back to me. You know what I mean? We're just getting back into the groove of things. It's busy season, and I am going to reveal something that has been waiting. Something that's waiting. I've been waiting to do. My nails! Eee! Look how long, creature. Rawr, rawr. I've been getting my nails done for the past four years consistently, so I really wanted to take um, some time to let my actual nail heal because the last time that I had got them done, I hit my nail, like this part of my nail, and it, um, like, on something. I don't know. I'm clumsy. It happens. But it literally felt like my nail bit was actually going to come off because of how much flingage was going to happen. I don't know. So I was like, you know, I would rather take some time to let my nails heal, become stronger before I get another set because I'd rather do that than not have a nail bit at all. So I took some time and I let my nails heal and finally it was time to get my nails done, but my cuticles are dry as shit. So now we're working on the cuticle process. Don't judge me. I have anxiety, so I bite my fingernails off and I bite the skin with it and then you just hang out. Trust me, I'm not, I'm not doing this shit intentionally. It almost just happens, just happens. And some people be like, ew, that's gross. Bitch, you probably have some shit going on in your life that I could judge you about, but I'm not going to because I'm not that type of person. Anyway, I'm being so expressive with my nails. I'm just so happy to have my nails back because, it, you know, it, it almost started becoming a part of me. Getting my nails done for drag just felt more professional. It just looked more, it just looked, it brought my look together. And that's what I was very, very happy to present. So when I was going about a month and a half without my nails, I felt a little lost. So today we are getting back to me and we're just going to do a get ready with my nails. And first off, contacts and you guys are probably thinking Cynthia how in the hell do you get your contacts in with these nails I'll show you so I, I should probably exchange some of the liquids in this you know so I have a photo shoot slash video shoot today and literally after that I come home I pack and I leave for Canada 
Yes, I'm going to Canada. I have three dates in Canada. Also, if you guys want Cynthia Doll merch, ding! You guys can purchase that. The link is in my bio. It's at mybestjudy.com slash Cynthia Doll. You will find my hummus to the fungus, my sin nudes, my CDs, which I have three albums out if you guys don't know. I also have music videos that were self-funded from my drag um, that I just kind of merged into a hobby because when I did drag full time, I turned music into a hobby and I just kind of merged the two. So there's that. Get yourself some Cynthia Doll merch. It definitely supports me. It supports the channel. It supports my art. And I really do appreciate it. Your sinners are amazing. Um, sinners are in our blood. Um, we sin. We sin again. And we sin a lot. And we continue to do so. Because that's just what sinning is about. Sinning is about breaking the rules. But not too far. You know what I mean? We bend the rules. Not break them. You know what I mean? We, we like to bend. Just to dabble. We dabble in the... You know what I mean? Also, special thanks to everybody who does um, the gifts, um, the special thanks, uh, this whole entire YouTube thing. You already know the tea. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you again. And yes, I'm about to go all over the place. We're about to go to Canada, LA, and then wherever life takes me. Um, Carolina. I think it's North Carolina. North Carolina. Is there a South Carolina? I think there's a South Carolina. We're going to Carolina Creep Show. I will enter the flyer right here. Boom. Hopefully, this airs before that date. Come out and see me. Come out and support me. Everybody's been like, Cynthia, I want you here. Cynthia, I want you here. And also, reminder, in order for me to go to your cities, you have to contact your local bars, your local promoters, where you see drag at, and let them know you want Cynthia Doll in your city. Send my manager's information right here to those promoters, to the clubs, to the places where you see drag, and say, we want Cynthia Doll. There we go. And then they message my manager. My manager lets me know the tea. And then we're on our way. Baby, that's, it's as simple as that. I am just going to take my, my contact lens and I'm putting it right there. And just like that. Voila. It's actually very easy. It's been a minute since I had my nails and doing that, it reminds me, I still got it. I go to my local coffee shops and they were like, where's your nails? Baby, we have to take healthy breaks now and then. You know, it's like going on vacation. <sighs> a vacation I did not want. And every single time I put in contacts, my nose just starts running, my face starts getting watery, and I'm just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? After my shoot today, I am going to Canada. We got three different stops in Canada, which I'm so excited. I love going to Canada. The sights are so beautiful. The air is very thick in Canada. It's like you almost can't breathe, you know what I mean? There's an art to that. Now, I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know if the air is thicker or what, but it's just something that I've observed. And absorbed. Maybe it is just me. Maybe I am crazy, you know? I don't know. It's just one of those things. But I truly love going to Canada. I've never been to the UK and everyone's like, Cynthia, we need you in the UK. Babes, if I could just go to the UK, trust me, I would. But you have to contact your local promoters and give me their loves. I would come, no problem. Like, I want to meet all of you. I want to see what your life is like. Also, like, there's so many places in the States that I have not been to. I haven't been to Texas. I haven't been to New York. Um, I haven't been to Alabama. I don't know if I want, like, I, what's Alabama like? I don't think I remember seeing great things on the internet, but the people in certain areas could make it better. I don't know the tea, but I'm just saying, and I've never been. I know there's some people out there that would prove me wrong. I was on live earlier. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I go live all the time. I am going to do a live stream here on YouTube soon. But I will be making like an announcement, letting you guys know when I do go live. 
um because that just seems like so much fun i've never been live on youtube so we'll make it like a big deal um i do go live on instagram quite a bit especially if i'm like working on a project or just saying hi sometimes i'm running to the local 7-eleven to get a twix you know because sometimes i just like sugar i'm not really a sugar girly but there's some times where i'm like i need a twix and I'll just, like, be in my car eating a Twix and everybody's obsessed with the ASMR. Which ASMR is kind of, I don't know. Y'all go back and forth with it. A lot of people are like, oh, I, wanna, I want ASMR. I want ASMR. But then there's a lot of people that are like, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. <laughs> you know, I, and so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll do ASMR just as, like, an extra video for the week because I don't want anybody to, like, miss out on something just because they don't feel like it's of theirs. You know what I mean? I want everybody to enjoy the content. I just enjoy YouTube a lot, especially, like, these podcast moments. Um, do you guys like podcasts? Do you guys like... Is that something that you would like? Obviously, I'm not, like... I'm still, like, so new to this YouTube that I don't necessarily have, like, the funds for it right now. But in the future, I'm sure that things are just going to continue to grow. Actually, I'll manifest that. I am manifesting things to just grow into something so much bigger because, baby, we work hard, we play hard, and we look so fucking good doing it. Ooh, should I release music this summer? Maybe I could find, like, a cute summer banger out of my new project. I probably could. But I always go back and forth with my sound, you know? It's what I'm feeling within that day, what I feel like just describes me, you know? Everybody's able to do what they want without question, you know? So if people switch it up, let them switch it up, mama. As long as you're doing it true to yourself and not catering to something where you think. You know what I mean? If it's authentic, people are going to read the authenticity. If it's forced, people are going to see the forceness. You know what I mean? The fourth will be seen with you. That's the real Mandela effect. That's what they actually said in Star Wars. So the photo shoot that I have today is iridescent. Now I was like, what in the hell? Like Cynthia Dahl and iridescent. Baby, what? That is insane. Iridescent. How does Cynthia Dahl do iridescent? But then I remembered, I can do it all. Baby, this is the first time I'm doing my makeup with my nails in like a month and a half. And it's like, I never lost my touch. Is there anything that I found difficult with long nails? Now, when I went on the show, I was advised by my drag mother to not have long nails. I took her advice and I went a little bit shorter than normal. But, you know, I've... When I got back, I immediately went longer than I normally did. Just because I, I love the way that my hands look like creatures. It's, it's, it's a part of me 24-7, even when I'm out of drag. I never knew that I'd feel more like myself with my nails. Because that's, that's just what it is, you know? Like, when you feel like yourself just by doing things. And you know that it's right. And it's, it's, it's a part of you. I, I just couldn't go without, you know, it, it, I really do enjoy my nails. They are a part of me. They are a part of Cynthia. They make Cynthia look, you know, even more put together, more professional. And that's, that's just, it makes that even better. So there's, you know, there's a complete balance. And typically I would think like, oh, like long nails out of drag. Like you would think like, like, oh, that's, that's way too much. But honestly, like, not for me. To me, it's just a part of me, you know? Just like drag is a part of me. It's not, you know, it's not all of who I am, but these nails are definitely 
something that helped me be more expressive and in tuned with myself. And they make me happy. They make Cynthia happy. And you live a happy life. Others judging you. Only you know who you are. Anybody else's opinions, any other judging that's going on, those are just assumptions. Those are other people's thoughts and prayers. I do my own thing. I know who I am and I know what I'm not. And anybody that tells me different, that's you, not me. I know who I am. No one's going to change that because at the end of the day, only I will know me, you know? And the people that know you, know you. And the people that don't or tend to judge, girl, we don't got time for that. It's not about who's not in our corner. It's about who is in our corner. You know what I'm saying? Cherish the ones that are around you because they're the ones that you need to keep close to your side. It's, it's, um, it's wise. You know what I mean? Like there's only so much time in the world. Try and focus on the good things. I know bad things are bound to happen. But it's not, it's not the bad things that define you. It's how you react that is going to define you. And don't let that define you in a negative light because we all go through it. I'm kind of packing as I'm doing my makeup because after this shoot, I have to come home, pack, and then leave for the airport, mama. All right, we are all powdered looking. Okay, but this is exactly how I felt when I had to get ready in the porta potty in Boulay Brothers Dragula season five, episode two. Thanks a lot, JK. Okay, so I did not realize how much time I was behind. So I had to just hurry it up. So here we are, we're at this point in my makeup and I was thinking I would just bring you guys along to the photo shoot slash video shoot. Um, we are doing it with Miss and Scene who did my music video for, um, for my territory. If you guys have not checked that out, it's with my Sin Nudes character. It was kind of a RIP to her because after shooting that video for 12 hours straight, she was done. She was falling apart. She had no nails left. That last scene in the music video, baby, the lip was split. She was missing nails. The hair was messed up. I think it got ran over at one point. So, I mean, she's just dead. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to enter a new era. Rest in peace. Bless her soul. Sin nudes no more. But she will always be remembered because she is an icon. This is her now. The lip is cracked up here. Oh, oh, baby. The lashes are not lashing anymore. They're lashing out. Um, yeah, she's not bad. She's not in bad shape, but girl, we look like twins. <laughs> um, I'm using this new product. This is Bobbi Brown. Uh, eyeliner pod. When I was on my hard candy tour, a fan was like, you need this in your life. And I said, oh, okay. Well, I was kind of looking around at my products and I was like, I need, I need to open up a new one. This was in there and I did her for my nose. I'm really not mad about it. So I'm excited to work with Miss Insane again. It's going to be a fun night, but also so busy because I leave for Canada at 3 a.m. Photo shoot ends at 8 p.m. Still have to pack, get things together. Baby, it's a race against time. <laughs> We're looking cute. Gorgeous. See, doing this with nails is like a third instinct. Once you kind of learn how to do it, it's nothing. A lot of people are like, how do you wipe your with those? Baby. It's simple. You just use the tip of your finger, like wrap the toilet paper. Like, to me, there's no difference. I don't have any problems with that. I'm trying to think of problems that I do have. Sometimes zipping, zipping some costumes up is hard, especially like the little zippers. I'm like, or like tying a corset. 
little things like that, maybe just small jewelry, you know, those are like, those are like the only things that I can like really think of that I actually have a problem doing. But other than that, like, other than that, I just kind of do things the same exact way, you know, like what? I don't know. Some of y'all are just weird. Time for lipsies. Only true Dragula fans would know who said lipsies, referring to their lips. Who said that? Who referred their lips as lipsies in Dragula? And what season? Comment below if you know. Because I know. I know my references. That's why I make them. They're references. Could you imagine if I was just like, done, and I just did like a nude lip like it was 2004, just concealer lips? Absolutely not. Our pride and joy, Black Moon Cosmetics. I can't get over the smell. I love it so much. Baby, that black is just mind blowing. Hello, truly obsessed. Lashes, and I still have to pack. It's probably going to be the hardest part, honestly. New lashes, new nails. On to the next, next. Gorgeous. Now, it's a race against time. I have to go, 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 go. So I'll take you along with me, do a little behind the scenes of the photo shoot, because baby, we're about to look gorgeous. It is iridescent, which isn't necessarily my realm, but there's nothing that we can't do. So we're going to make Cynthia Dahl meets iridescent in her own version. So we're about to look stunned. Baby, we are in the gig. We're about to do the shoot. Iridescent. <laughs> it's your bestie, Miss Miss Blasty. Just blast me. Blast me. Cynthia, what kind of phone is this? What kind of what? What kind of phone is this? It's the iPhone 31 Max Pro Plus. Beer. <laughs> it is so good. You like? Yes. Are the nails so good?
Hi, 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 <laughs> okay. So I'm back from the shoot. And now that that's over with, um, I'm going to show you guys how I take out my contacts with my nails. Baby, when I tell you, it's a moment. First lashes. Ugh. So I'm going to get my contact case ready for departure from my eyeball. So now, I just literally... Just like that. Ta-da! And that's it. I essentially put on makeup remover, take a shower, do my skincare. And that's exactly what I'm about to do now. And then right after that, I'm packing for Canada. <laughs> Come along with me as I will be vlogging Canada. My first experience on a plane somewhere international. I've been to Canada previously, but we drove. That was like 16 hours, girl. 16 hour drive. <laughs> but this time, we're just flying. We're gonna look good. Gorgeous, stunning Canada. Here we come. Ew. Just oh. made it to Canada. Troy, say hi. Hi. This airport is crazy, y'all. Look at the snow. Never seen snow in my life. Actually, I don't know where it's at. Seen snow, oh, I know it's snow. a ha ha. <laughs> 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 You're gonna edit that, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Canada. I had to go through this uh, corrections thing, and there's this like this touch screen thing. I had to scan my passport, and then I scanned it, and a receipt came out, and I gave it to the guy, and he's like, "Oh, so it didn't work for you? I didn't realize that it didn't print anything. It's just a blank piece of paper." And it's I was supposed like, to be a piece of paper with your face on it. Yeah, with my face. <laughs> to confirm security reasons that you're allowed in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're here, and it's cold. Are you cold? Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> I was like, oh, I gotta get away. But then it gets to colder weather. Beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> We are going to Repertoire and Grill. <laughs> what is it called? Red Papaya. Okay, Red Papaya. Thai and Grill. Thai and Grill. <laughs> Three of these. Revival 1863. We are at a speakeasy kind of location here in Canada. Baby, when I tell you this venue is so gorgeous. Ah. Oh. Home. It's beautiful. Ooh. Canada, your weather is cold. <laughs> oh my god. It's been how long since I've been here? Uh, at least two years. Oh, so at least two years. Maybe. So yeah. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys this venue. Ding. Gorgeous. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Baby, this is gorgeous. They have a chewing gum machine. Do I just pull or what? I think you have to put 10 cents. 10 cents? Yeah. <gasps> Too expensive. <laughs> and look at these like little details. Gorgeous. The pattern. The ceiling. The ceiling. It's the ceiling. Are you having a ciggy? No, I was gonna go and just check in. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna go for a smoke. Oh, can I um, Do you go? Want to go walk through the venue so you know yes. <clears throat> Look at this. Mm -hmm. Baby, this is it. Gorgeous. 
look at this. It's such a beautiful venue. Is this marble? <gasps> Love. Good morning. Do you want a salad? Uh, no, thank you. It's so when Troy and Ben had their wedding, I sat right there. I sat right here. Baby, and the stage is so gorgeous. I love coming here. <laughs> She's like, blur my face, please. Hi, love. How are you? Good. Hello. So beautiful. The bar is stunning. Okay, we'll do that. The chandeliers, the details. The devil is in the details. Here's our little stage. The safe, you know? Keeps us safe. <laughs> I didn't even see the books. There's so much to look at. I love places like this. Gorgeous. Good morning, Charlotte, North Carolina. It's me, Cynthia Dahl from the Boulay Brothers Dragula season five. I will be coming to you April 20th at the Snug Harbor for your iconic show, Carolina Creep Show. Ah! Tickets are now on sale at snugrock.com. Get your tickets today and I will see you on 420. <laughs> All right, sinners, we just got done doing our first show on Thursday. It was so cute. I got to see some old friends and also got to work with some old friends. It's been so fun, amazing. I just feel so elegant in this room right now. You know, like my couch, just like clock it. This is my station. I look good. Just so gorgeous in this room. Canada, you're cold. <laughs> not just cold hearted, bitch. You are cold outside, inside. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So that kind of wraps up night one. I did not document anything on my plane trip. I didn't know where the hell I was going. I had to go through a thing called customs. And yeah, some things just don't reciprocate in my mind. So we just kind of move forward and do what we can and with the best that that's given to us. Maybe I'll get it figured out when I go home. You know, we'll see. All right, sinners. Good night. Oh, shit. Girl, don't even be sorry about her, girl. I don't know. Ares is just awful. Girl. Ares is awful? She Everybody hates Ares. Oh, uh, why? Cheat, well, I mean, look at the hair, girl. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Bitch, I didn't know they have, like, fucking earthquakes in Canada. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Get her. That's because I ass grabbed it, honey. My ass just be grabbing. It just be grabbing. It just be grabbing. It just be grabbing. Your, your, your ass back here, not up here, though. Ah! Yeah, I got front and back. I got ass in the front and junk in the trunk and junk in the front. Yeah. You know, this is going on the American platform. Canadian. This, this is going good. International. Thank you. <laughs> Hold her oh, earrings. I got it. I yeah. got it. Don't worry. Hold my, hold my earrings. Yeah. Ready? Get her a trash bag. Uh, she needs to throw America, up. This is what I'm going to do. Just to worry about yeah. anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she back quit Canada. drinking. So she quit drinking and cried. Ah! This used to be a train station. <laughs> and they turned it into a speakeasy. There's a restaurant upstairs and a speakeasy downstairs. Baby, this is such a beautiful venue. Oh. All right. On to day two. <laughs> What in the world? Sinners, we are at an arcade tonight. I'm not good at you're this not thing. good at this, no. Cute. I'm surprised you're not vlogging that to add in. What? 
vlogging and she is in Canada. It is cold. It is so I'm in Canada. It's freezing. It's well, I did that when I got here too. Did you? Yeah, I was freezing. Did we have this snow when you first got here, though? No. This is the venue space for tonight. This is day two here in Canada. What part are we in? We are in Barrie, Ontario. Barrie, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> the halls, darling. Oh my god, it's my final night in Canada, baby. It is gorgeous. I'm hanging out with my sisters, looking fantastic. Getting ready, of course. Um, uh, then I have to go home, pack for out. <laughs> My sister is so conceited. No, no, no! Did my coat keep you warm? Yes, it did. It did. Thank you. Yes. Her coat kept me warm because it's cold in Canada. <laughs> uh, the venue was gorgeous. Canada, you're gorgeous. Bitch, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got door service. Thank you. Oh, I must drip my phone. Canada, you whooped my fucking ass. It's called. And I need some poutine. I need some sleep. And I'm about to go watch The Back of My Eyelids season two on Netflix because it's trendy right now, bitch. Oh wait, entrance is so insane. <laughs> what? I've never entered a plane like that. That's insane. I just got to MCI, so we just landed in Kansas City. What a crazy weekend. But now it's time to go home. I'm not gonna get any rest. I have to be back at this airport, baby. We're going to Los Angeles. Some lady said that I looked a little down. <laughs> I'm just tired. She gave me a Rice Krispie. <laughs> Do I look a little emo? I go on the plane rides like this. That's literally me on my plane ride. This, the Neil Hulu hoodie is all I wear, especially during the cold sea weather. But Canada, Canada was so cold, freezing, freezing cold. Now I get to Kansas City and I was like, it has to be a little bit warmer. No, it's not as cold as Canada, but I'm still wanting to be warm, you know, like point me to the nearest hot tub or something. I. I just want to get warm, okay? So my friend Katrina is picking me up and <laughs> she did not clean the trash in her car when we came here last week. So I was literally, my legs were like, <laughs> because it was piled up with trash. <laughs> I told her, I told her, I said, don't clean it up. I said, when I get back, I, 
uh, when I get back, I want to see how, how much bigger it can get. So I wonder if she did clean it out or if she didn't. I, f I have a feeling she did, but it's going to be so funny if she didn't. <laughs> you cleaned it. No. <laughs> Get it. Hold on. I want to leave. Okay. <laughs> She's a really good dancer. dancer, dancer.